Hi, in this tutorial we are going to solve a question about bond angles and hybridization. This question is from your textbook McMurray and uh, it is one of the end of chapter question. The question asking what bond angles do you expect for each of the following and what kind of hybridization do you expect for the central atom in each. Uh, first of all we are going to start from the first uh, option, option A, and in order to solve this part, you need to you need to be able to write a little bit detailed line bond structure. Let's start with uh, a line bond structure. The first atom you have here, a nitrogen. Nitrogen has two hydrogen, and then we have a carbon atom it has two hydrogen and it is connected to another carbon atom this carbon atom has a double bonded oxygen and a single bonded oxygen then this oxygen is connected to hydrogen the next thing you need to do for this kind of uh, questions you need to fill lone pair electrons nitrogen has two four six valence electrons around it and according to octet rule it should have eight electrons and we are placing one lone pair electrons and if you move to other atoms here this carbon uh, fulfills it its octet and this carbon has two four six eight electrons and we have to place two more lone pairs to this oxygen so that it fulfills its octet and the last element, uh, oxygen, it should have two lone pairs so that it has eight electrons around it. After filling all the uh, lone pairs electrons, <coughs> we can now determine the hybridization for each central atom. And uh, let's start with this oxygen. Oxygen has one, two single bonds and two lone pairs and in total it has four electron regions or we can call it electron domains if you have four electron domains uh, you need to be sp3 hybridized so let's place here sp3 then let's come to this carbon atom carbon atom has one two single bonds and one double bonds don't forget double and triple bonds are uh, always counted as one electron domain uh, for that reason this carbon has one two and three electron domains and it has to be sp2 hybridized and this carbon has one two three four single bonds so it has to be sp3 hybridized and nitrogen atom has one two three single bonds and one lone pair electrons and uh, for that reason it has to be sp3 hybridized atom uh, after uh, after deciding what kind of hybridization each central atom has the next part we need to uh, determine bond angles uh, we have to we have to uh, we have to say that uh, most of the time sp3 hybridized atoms are having 109.5 bond angles with the other atoms and sp2 hybridized atoms generally makes 120 degree bond angles and sp2 hybr sp hybridized atoms makes 180 degree bond angles uh, for that reason we can here specify bond angles for each central atom uh, for example oxygen or let's be more specific the bond between hydrogen oxygen and carbon it should be around 109.5 and the bond angle between oxygen carbon oxygen which has an sp2 hybridized central atom it should be around 120 degree and let's go to this carbon since it is sp3 hybridized the bond angles are expected to be around 109.5 and the last atom nitrogen 
uh, it is sp3 hybridized and we are expecting bond angles uh, having this central nitrogen atom around 109.5 uh, we have to we have to uh, keep in mind that uh, like these values are not absolute values uh, if you have lone pair electrons or if you have different type of bonds for example we have here oxygen hydrogen bond and uh, uh, oxygen carbon bonds they are not same type of bonds so for that reason uh, bond angle might deviate a couple of degrees sometimes less sometimes more so we have to keep uh, this in mind thank you so much